After a long search, I literally just walked all around the festival and found out that the Marshall booth was right beside me the entire time. So here I am. And I got to plug into a JCM 800. Oh, this thing is awesome. We just kind of ran through some uh, some stuff together and uh, I'm already thinking of how I can fit it in my carry-on. I haven't actually touched the settings, just plugged my guitar in. I mean, this amp here, we're talking about something that we chased down uh, due to our favorite punk rock bands in Canada using 800s, um, you know, old to new. This is a great amp, a classic, and if you are an amp collector, this thing is a staple. And this sounds extremely close to really good 800s. Marshall and I, we have a long history. So I started with a, uh, a valve state when I was a kid uh, and I was playing a lot more metallic stuff. Great solid state amp, moved to an 800 that I tried to steal from my cousin, but he wouldn't let me. But it was an 800 combo. So it was like a 50 watt combo and it just sounded so good, man. And one of my favorites. From there, we went to a DSL we use the 99 TSL on a lot of Sum 41 recordings, especially in the beginning. The amp that stuck with me uh, through the years is an old Mark II. All right, we're talking like in between the Plexi and the 800. Uh, and it was an overlooked amp until I just tried to buy one uh, to, as a backup. And I realized that things are selling for like five, six grand now. But uh, I use it to this day. Yeah, just throw a claw in front of it, and uh, that's my sound in, in some bands that I play back uh, back home with. Two cousins in particular, they were always playing in bands, and I just ended up kind of gravitating towards them and listening to music with them. Um, one of my cousins was the first guy to put a guitar in my hands properly. Before I knew, I was trying to play guitar like this, like uh, an old Canadian named Jeff Healy, because that's what I knew guitar as. But then uh, my cousin came, flipped up the guitar like this, taught me briefly how to read tab, and uh, sat me down with a Guitar World magazine the page that was it was open to, just this bald dude with a big goatee and one of the coolest guitars I've ever seen. And it ended up being Scott Ian and it was a riff from Cotton Mosh. And that's the love story. That's when I really fell in love with guitar because I could connect my mind to something that I felt like I understood. And I've always just felt human with a guitar in my hand. So at the moment, I'm really digging playing uh, Out For Blood. It's off the new record, uh, Order and Decline, and I get to do a rad solo on it with a wah pedal, which is most guitar players' favorite thing to do. And uh, other than that, I love Hellsong because it's just the, the rush and the vibe that rolls over the crowd as soon as we launch into that. For Marshall, it's so iconic within rock and roll. So the first times I ever saw guitars plugged into something, there was always that beautiful Marshall logo just kind of emblazoned on the cabinets and it's highly influential. And man, I just, I keep on like maybe trying some stuff here and there, but it's just always right. When you hit that Marshall, it's the amp that you can plug into and no matter what the settings are, you'll be able to play something. <laughs> 